Good afternoon. After this morning snowfall, it's nice to see the sun and some blue skies and just kind of give us a little bit of a break here before we have to get hit by the next bout of heavy snow. And this time it's going to also include the wind with it too. So uh, it's going to be more intense than the round that we just saw. Uh, but that was enough to cause some issues on the roads. We're seeing that snow pretty much done here. It's really dwindled and now signs of the next system moving in. We're seeing some of those higher clouds streaming through through now and even some radar returns showing up at the mid levels of the atmosphere in western parts of the James River Valley, Bismarck, some snow approaching that area too in advance of the main bout of snow we'll be getting later tonight. So this system just now developing, working its way uh, into the valley here. So checking out your temperatures, we do have some cold air in the wake of that front. Our temperatures are only in the teens in a lot of spots, 11 in Grand Forks, 13 in Fargo and and some low 20s down to the south and east. We've got lighter wind speeds in the east and well out west too. We're looking at some lighter winds. Our top speed is in Fargo at 12 miles per hour out of the north. So a little break from the wind. So again, we're looking at our snow chances increasing through the day here and temperatures not climbing much. We're going to try to get into those 20s and here's how that'll happen. We're seeing some sun. That'll help a little bit uh, and uh, our numbers trying to climb as we progress into the afternoon, but we're already starting off a little lower and then we'd like to be around the noon hour, so it's going to be tough to get there. Still looking at that chance for a 20 to 30 degree temperature in the far south, up north more around that 20 degree high. So that's your day today. As we get into the evening hours, if you've got some evening plans up by Devil's Lake, they'll likely be impacted already uh, by this snow system moving in around the 7 o'clock hour. The storm rolls eastward into the evening and you can see in eastern North Dakota, we're pretty much all covered up by snow by 10 o'clock at night. And that advantage to the east through the overnight hours and check out these colors purples even pinks here on our snowfall uh, model and that's very heavy snow indicating a heavy snowfall rate with this system so we're looking at this snow building up rather quickly overnight so it's another one of those situations you might go to bed and things are fine you wake up to a pile of snow out in front of your house uh, here by Saturday morning that continues moving eastward and that's not the only problem we've got the wind it's going to be gusting into some 30s, even some 40s out of the north, and that's going to cause some low visibility, some blowing and drifting, whiteout kind of conditions, just some general hazardous travel. So if you have some holiday traveling to do, uh, right now is a better time for that. Watch out for some remaining icy and snow patches out there, though, from this morning's event. And after the system passes, it's still not going to be great. We're looking at the snow moving on in the morning hours, but that wind's still brisk. So we're going to get some drifting and blowing snow through the day on Saturday and it stays kind of on the brisk or blustery side with some gusts into the 20s into the afternoon. Can't rule out a couple of spotty snow showers either. Just a kind of cold raw day on Saturday. Here's a look at our snowfall potential through Saturday morning. Again, there's going to be a band of heavy snow and wherever that sets up, we're looking at more than six inches of snow getting to perhaps 12 inches a foot of snow possible with this system. So uh, that is going to be the big question is where will that heavy band set up and Fargo has consistently been in the heart of it here. So uh, keep that in mind with dropping off amounts from there north and south. Easter Sunday, cold, a low of five, and we climb to some mid 20s. So bundle up during this holiday weekend. Yes, we'll just make sure to wear all of those layers we need. Exactly. Thank you, Lisa. Well, straight